I'm going to, basically when I grip my club, I'm going to make my arms as long as possible and I'm going to point my thumbs down at the ground. And basically while I'm tall and my thumbs pointing at the ground and my arms really long, I can barely touch the ground from here. If I just continue swinging back and through, you can see I'm barely touching the ground here. Okay, now I am brushing the turf, but I'm not digging that leading edge into the ground. Welcome to the channel guys, my name's Ryan Moke, and today we're gonna to talk about chipping off tight lies, more importantly, tight lies into the grain. Really difficult to judge, club gets caught up, ball goes about two feet. Let's not do that anymore. Let's get stuck in. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So what we're going to talk about today is into the grain chip shots. Now this is in particular for fairway lies, not necessarily rough lies, although it does work for rough lies as well. But the first thing we need to understand is how are we going to find out if our shot is into the grain or not? Well, you can't do this in a game of golf, but what I'm gonna do during practice, so I'm just gonna run my feet along the grass here. And as you can see, the grass is getting pulled up. Now that obviously means that the grass is growing this way. So if I was to flatten this out, I can move my foot in that direction and it flattens that grass out. So when I'm understanding that this is an into the grain shot, a lot of the things we do in a typical chip shot needs to go out the window. We need to play this shot a little differently. The other way that you can test the surface without obviously cheating and putting your foot along the ground like that is we can basically just have a few practice swings next to the ball. And you can see that whenever I'm hitting the grass, that grass is popping up and you can see that that's going to catch my club. It's gonna catch the leading edge. The ball's only gonna go two or three foot in front of me. We've all experienced it, including myself. So the first thing we need to understand are the do's and don'ts when chipping into the grain. So the don'ts are going to be using too much leading edge. Okay, and what I see from a lot of golfers is Whenever they're into the grain, we always want to get ball first into the grain, but how golfers do it is they place the ball way back in their feet. So this alignment stick down the middle here is showing you ball position. And they end up kind of with this ball way back in the feet. Now what you're effectively doing by doing that is if we were to have the club vertical just like this, we have bounce under the club. So that's what, that's what lifts the leading edge off the ground. So when you start to move that shaft in that direction, you are eliminating all the bounce that's on your club. So now it's even easier for that leading edge to dig in. So like I said, the biggest flaw I see with amateur golfers is they just do this, and what they try and do is they try and stab or pinch the ball off the ground, and they end up digging, and we can just see the, the ball going two or three foot in front of us. So what we want to try and do is we want to try and utilize more of the bounce. Now, I've got my 60 degree wedge here. It's a low bounce 60 degree wedge. You can easily grab, and to be fair for this shot here, I would probably grab my 56 degrees, which has 14 degrees of bounce. So I've got a lot more bounce on that than what I do on this 60. So I would recommend that you use more bounce for these types of shots. So the technique that I want to use when we're into the grain, especially on tight lies, is I want the golfer to basically barely reach the ground. Now that seems a bit seems a bit odd and you might be thinking what are you talking about, right? So if I was to basically have that ball way back hands forward and I'm low to the ground, well I can easily reach the ground right now, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my my setup position so that I'm barely reaching the ground and how that would work is I would stand nice and tall I'm gonna have the ball in the middle of my feet, maybe a smidge back for all of these shots, but I'm gonna stand really tall. I'm going to, basically when I grip my club, I'm going to make my arms as long as possible, and I'm going to point my thumbs down at the ground. And basically, while I'm tall, and my thumbs pointing at the ground and my arms really long, I can barely touch the ground from here. If I just continue swinging back and through, you can see I'm barely touching the ground here. Okay, now I am brushing the turf, but I'm not digging that leading edge into the ground. What I'm actually doing by lifting the club this way is I'm taking the basically three quarters of the leading edge of this golf club off the ground. So a lot of players play it this way, right? And there's a lot of leading edge being shown to the ground. I wanna basically lift the toe. So, so basically the heels coming off the ground, the toes on the ground, 
and I'm gonna try and hit this slightly off the toe. So if I was to basically play this shot like everyone else I see do, again, ball back, hands forward, try and, and try and basically pinch it off the ground, we only need a slight error in judgment to get that ball to do that. And you can see how all that, look at that grass, it's just come up. Okay, so I'm gonna play this like I was just talking about there in regards to my hands being a little higher and my body being a lot taller. Now make no mistake about it, this lie is still fairly scary, but we're gonna do our best by setting up appropriately. So what I want to do, I'm gonna place my club on the ground, ball position ever so slightly back of center. Okay, I'm gonna stand taller, elongate my arms and point my thumbs down, and that gets the toe on the ground, the heel off the ground. I'm gonna have a few practice swings, making sure that I continue with my body, pivoting through the golf shot, and then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a go. So everything I said in that setup routine. And that's a great shot, it's about a foot away from the hole. Yes, I still touched the ground, but I did that after the ball. But you can see that I haven't taken too much grass there. That club slid through the turf quite nicely, even though we're well into the grain. It's quite soft, quite muddy, Quite a scary shot for a lot of golfers, but you can see how easy I made that look by just basically setting up to that ball in the correct way and not letting my club land too steeply in the ground with that leading edge. So guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. If you liked what you saw there, like and subscribe to the channel for future videos. Comment below if you struggle with this shot. What are some ways that you've learned to play this? Until next time, thanks for watching.